Hey everyone, welcome to Pop XP. And before the show starts, make sure to click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notifications when we go live and we upload awesome new content. And don't forget, if you can, make sure to share our stream on all your social media outlets. We appreciate it, and thanks for helping us grow the Pop XP channel. Hello, everybody. I'm your old pal, teen sensation, Billy Tucci. That's my Twitter or my Instagram. And I'm joined with a man that we can only reply as so wicked, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Mr. J.C. Vaughn. Hello, Jeffrey. Hello, old Bean. How are old, you? I am doing fantastic, old Bean. You realize you realize that in, in, in the last year, while I've been working on the... Uh... Overstreet comic book price guide to lost universes. I've not been on all that often. And I'm very excited about what you're doing today. So am I. And we're all going to get a chance to look at it for the very first time. And uh, so uh, this came in the UPS today. It's this sucker weighs 10 pounds, Jeff. <laughs> well, that seems about that seems about right. 10 bloody pounds, 500 pages of good old hardcover goodness, we hope. And I don't end up crying. Um, on but, live TV. Uh, Yep, but I just want to thank everyone, uh, and of course, Jeffrey, we have the the world famous and always reliable UPS. Yeah, uh, I world uh, erase document box. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea why I read it that way. I know. Well, everyone, hello. It's good to see you guys. And those of you uh, who are not in the Eastern Time Zone, uh, good morning. Um, old Bean, is it Eastern Standard Time or Eastern Time? We're, we're on we're on Eastern Time, Eastern Daylight Time still right now. We are in Eastern Daylight Time. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're, we're soon to be on Eastern Standard Time. I see. Oh, look, our old pal James Sanchez is here. Good morning, Senor Sanchez. Cabron. Hello, uh, James. And uh, Coach wants to know, where's my she? Well, well here let's it is. take a look and see if we can answer that question. Yes. Uh, so very excited. I also invited our producer, uh, Dr. Brian Blevins to come on and join us. So Where is Brian the doctor? Will be, he will be joining it. I don't know. I sent him an email. So hopefully right. he'll join us. He's a very busy man. Hopefully. He is. As we all are. And as you are. And I know that you've taken time away from your lunch break for us to do this. So I ate, I ate my lunch quickly so I would have time to do this. Well, I am very excited about this book. It's from our friends at API Printing. Uh, we, you know. This book would have been to them a while ago, but uh, we actually enlarged the book to marble size. And this is the very first time I'm seeing this. So I'm I, fingers crossed. You're brave to do this online. I know I am. <laughs> so I'm opening it. You know, one year when I got the advanced copies of the Overstreet Guide, uh, this is almost 20 years ago, right. uh, I opened up the box and they were all black and white. Okay, so here it is. Okay, oh, so it's not the hard. I don't think it's a hardbound. I guess it's just it's just. This should just be the, the. This should be interiors. Yeah. Oh wow, it looks great. That's big. Which will tell you it, it should be up to about eleven pounds when you get the uh, real thing. Here it is. Oh, look at that! These proofs. Oh, look here. This is this is our dust jacket. Mm -hmm. uh, designed by uh, Mindy Lopkin, who put this together. Our wonderful, my little proof thing. I guess to to sign it off, sign it over. Um, wow, this is big. This is a big, big book. Let's grab a comic. Any comic. What's this? Here's a Star Wars comic. So here's a here's a regular comic, old bean. So we're going to. You can't see the top. You can't see the top of your page. Okay, so it's a lot. It's it's. I know. I can go higher with it. There you go. Nope. A little more. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I'll just. I just have to adjust it. There we go. So th this is the size of it. So if this is a regular comic, this is the size of the book. It's what do you got? About an inch and a half, two yeah, inches on it. Yeah, it looks like it's an inch and a half on, and uh, yeah, at least, at least. And then, and then wider also. Yep, so. a lot wider. So if you look here, we have. So this is it. What you guys are going to get? And there's a Amanda Connor's wonderful artwork, with artwork by Amanda Connor. Mindy Lopkin put this all together. This is I grabbed a bunch of the old quotes, Jeff, from back in the day. From, from like the 1990s when this issue came out. So we have things from the New York Times and Jeff Smith, uh, the Forest Hills Times, Florida Today. And Florida Today said, she, the icon of 90s comics. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Chris Claremont, Access Magazine, 
J.C. Vaughn, Vice President of Publishing, Gemstone Publishing. That was from originally from Overstreet's fan then. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And, and uh, Stan Sakai, uh, Swing Magazine, USA Today, and Comic Book Collector. So uh, we just talk about what, what she says. It looks fantastic. It looks so great. It does. I'm going to go through this like with a, you know, I'm going to go through this big time. I don't want to give away too much though, OB. You know what? I, I think I was wrong when I said the other, the hardcover will be heavier. The hardcover will be lighter because the paper is lighter than the proof paper. So the hardcover won't be 10 pounds. Yeah. It'll probably be oh. more like between five and seven. Yep. So this is going to be, and this is, this is, a, I think it's larger. See, it gets larger here. I don't know what they did. I'll ask them about this to make sure the size is the right. But, and we, this is going to be a sketch plate. Um, and if anybody wants to, uh, the book right now is um, at the printer right now, uh, but on, and it's live on Indiegogo in demand. The Kickstarter is over, but it is, um, it's still going to be in demand on Indiegogo until the books arrive and then we're going to end it. We will be offering this book hopefully through Diamond um, and also through our website and also future campaigns. But the price now is $60 for 500 pages. <laughs> all this and uh, it will be going up to eighty dollars though because it's just it's really expensive so here's a nice little um uh dedication to my father-in-law who was always a huge supporter of mine who passed away a few weeks ago and uh here's him posing because he with a water pistol and holding my sister-in-law my niece uh, my sister lauren when she was a little girl and here he was in the book and we ended up cutting him to pieces so all right, so uh, yeah, this oh, Jeff, I have not looked at a a, a, phys, a physical proof in decades. You know, I usually get the digital ones. Yep. So our end sheets. These are end sheets. This is a you know. Eh, here we go. Let's go down to this. So of course we have our forward by by the the one the only Mr. Chris, Chris Claremont who had done it for us. Oh look how the pages are, great and look. We have these really fun things that Nile Scala designed was our chapter headline pages. So it shows the original art boards. And then we have a little description here that Mindy was able to add. But this is uh, by me and to be colored by Barry Orkin. This is the very first page. And then so it's it's going to be a nice little, comp, you know, composite page with, you know, a, a nice d double page spread. Yeah. And uh, oh, it looks so good, Jeff. Look at that. So good. The opening scene of she... Oh, this looks so fantastic! So, um, good well, as we discuss, as we discussed many times, uh, I remember seeing that like three rows away at my comic shop, sitting on the top shelf of a rack, uh, that first issue, man, and drew me right in. Yeah, this is wow! I am just, I, I, I feel, I feel like that time all over again. <laughs> you know, it's the same thing with me. It's really, it's, it's taking me back. And uh, this is, I got to show. I found this photo right here recently with Deb, when Debbie posed for me. And then, it, and this is when you see her first slipping on the costume for the first time. And then yeah. in Return of the Warrior, we had a little fun with it as Anna did the same thing. Sort of, we were mimicking the same page. She, she wasn't naked though. And putting on the, putting on the, on the, um, on the stocking here on, on yeah. her legging and ripping a hole through it. <laughs> Cause it's old and you know, she's not this wayfish, you know, 22 year old anymore. But uh, just just fun stuff, fun stuff. And then we go to this, of course, which is the original double page spread. Nice. Now, did you guys have any? Did you guys have any trouble? I mean, it's early in the book, so you probably did, did, didn't. But did Mindy have any trouble making it line up with the with the fold uh, of the book with the gutter of the book? I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. She 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 did work. And and I'll go through some other things. And some yeah, other early, early in the book, it shouldn't even be an issue one way or the other. Yeah. But but when you get into spreads deeper into big hardcovers, yeah, it, it, it's a challenge for the designers. Oh, that these chapter breaks look great. Aren't they? Isn't that fantastic? Yeah. Was that Niles' idea or? No, this is my idea. Yeah. Oh, well, good on you. But now did a great job because here is the original. Like this was um, what paper is this? This book, I don't know if this is Marvel paper. Jimmy Pamiati, who uh, I became friends with very early on, right, right after the first issue she came out, gave me a, a fistful of Marvel artboards. And I and so the first issue of She was, uh, uh, sorry, issue five was drawn on the Marvel artboards. Um, here's, here's another one, Jeff. The first issue I actually had to cut out built Bristol board myself and I lined it, made it, you know, um, uh, 10 by 15. Mm-hmm. 
But uh, this just looks so good. I got to keep it all in order. But, yeah, so here's a double base spread. And you see that it goes through. And, you know, she played with a few things, as you could see. See, like, the you see this part of his hand is here. And it's also here. So yeah. Mindy was able to compensate for the folding. Yeah. You know, so you do get the whole image, the which powder, is yeah. really smart of her. Nice. This is when, when Anna, you know, so it's just fun stuff. And the, the, the credits, we have all the original credits from all the Holy people crap. that worked on it. And, uh Ah, oh, it's just it looks so fun. It looks so fun. Here's another one. First time we see Tomo in the Naren Six. Looks that was Amanda really cool. Connor. Here's Amanda's issue. So this is that. So this is now the first issue of Tomo. This is the first issue of Tomo. Tomo number zero. And then I also found Amanda's original art. Uh, I gave this to her a few weeks ago when I saw her in New York City. But here is her um, roughs for covers. For the Tomo series. So, and uh, so his original, original Tomo number zero cover concept drawing and color guide on sketch pad by the legendary Amanda Connor. I love this cover. I don't know why we didn't go with this. I like this better than the other one. See, because you would have gone with this now. Right. Right. And I don't know why I didn't have, oh, it looks great. Look how great it looks. Old Bean. Fantastic. And you know what, Billy, in all fairness, oh, in all that. fairness, that would have been too wrenching a thing for you in the in the middle of the original Way of the Warrior. Right. Remember that. Yep. Now you're bold enough to do that. Yes, yes. And here's another fun thing, Jeff. What 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 I what I'm so happy about is that because these files were all corrupted, we had to scan them in from the comics. And then Mindy just went off and she just was able to delete a lot of, you know, the the, the dots, uh, enhance all the photoshopping and stuff like that. And and it came out great. Beautiful. It just came out fantastic. It's my little homage to Lady Death. I drew that as a little little Easter egg in there. They're trying to describe who the she killer is. And that's I, I noticed the one the one version has the circle over the eye. No, it does. No, that's just like an eye, uh, like a oh eyepiece. No, but that would have been a great idea to do that. Oh, it was just the way it looked. Got you it. You know what? A gay crasher, Jeff, would might be fun is for Anna to meet her other versions, before, other versions the, like, of her. Yeah, like the but I, and I can draw it rough, you know, like almost like it's a rough with the with the red circle over her uh, eye. Can we talk about that later on? Oh, yeah, God. these just reproduce fantastic. Well, that helps that you. It, oh my gosh, this is Look one of my nice. all time favorites. Look how nice that is. Yeah, that's that's our credits page for for issue number for Way of the Warrior number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Mm -hmm. oh, here's another one. See, so we we so we have the was able to find these all this original art that I have. I was able to to you know reproduce it. Yeah, it's it's a, it's amazing what what that adds to a book. We just I've been doing the same thing in uh, in the Overstreet Lost Universe book. You know, I find an unpublished stuff. I mean, I've got some unpublished JG Jones and and oh, uh, other stuff to add into that other original art, uh, yeah. and and it really. Is just such a great counterpoint to the finished product. Yeah, it just look, it looks so good. Here's here's another. This is the original she drawing. This is the first one. Um, and if you look close enough, I don't know if you can quite see it. There is a hint of the red circle because when this was originally drawn, she had the red circle over her eyes in, in like blue pencil. And then Neil Hansen, our friend who was at Comics Values Monthly, I believe the name of it. Um, we had a little launch party. Um, uh, with these investors, I that, that these guys that were going to invest, and then they and then when it came time to pay for the book, um, one of them said, The boss said, If you think I'm going to pay for I'm going to spend four thousand dollars to advertise a comic book, you're out of your mind. And I'm like, Okay, well, then I'm going to go out on my own. <laughs> That's the best thing, I, best advice I ever got. Isn't uh, that, I mean, seriously, yeah, well, think, can you about, imagine? think about if you had been burdened with those doofuses all this time. Oh, yeah, it would. Yeah, it would have been awful. And they wanted to own half of half the property and all this. And I got I lawyered up. Debbie's aunt worked for a big time lawyer in, in New York City. And uh, we just yeah, they took care of that. And uh, speaking of so here's some of our extras. I don't want to give away too much, but his Debbie. So we have fun stuff like so, you know, here's my original cover sketch jeff yeah that I did. and see she had the red circle over her eye and uh then here's the original pencil dude, which I still dude, have a scan of dude, that in all yep. seriousness in all seriousness do that as a variant for gate crusher what the the original number one with the red circle do a cover like this as a cover a yeah do a variant of that with that that would be fun 
And then I had now this one was that original page, uh, but I recolored it mm -hmm. for the advertising because I gave her the little she symbol here, if you notice. Yep. See the little choker. But I'm looking for a poster one. too, wasn't it? Uh, this was the giant post. Yeah, no, the poster was computer color. I have the poster. But, but wasn't it that image? This image, what? Yeah, this was the image. And if you notice too, she's also very well endowed, far more well endowed than normal because it was for a poster. Thank you. Oh, here's my here's Deborah. Here's our, my wife. Hello, honey. It looks great. Look how cute you are here, Deborah. Look at that. <laughs> honey, wake up. I, <laughs> I need you to pose for this. But hey, guys out there, what's up, Phil? Good to see you. Nicholas Gear, good to see you, brother. Um, we're going to be recruiting all you guys for Gay Crasher. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, so uh, I hope you join in on the fun with us. Um, but, uh, honey, this book looks fantastic. The proof looks incredible. Even these pages that were so dark, um, she made it work. I know you got to, you know, his Rick Dodd. The freaks are out tonight, man. This is the fun stuff we could have when we made these. And this is Mark Patton right here diving, <laughs> uh, posing for me outside of the Forest Hill studio. There's my Jeep. <laughs> Riding the, this is this was a great scene where, if you remember, Jeff, they were in Central Park. The one guy's on a horse and the other guy's on a motorcycle and they're shooting at each other on Fifth Avenue. Yeah. And <laughs> it was like a really weird episode of McLeod. Yeah, but it was fun, you know. Again, that's where that's where you have fun doing that. So you see all the extras in, in this, and and you you will be able to see that guys in the in in the uh, final product if you get the omnibus, which is live right now. Um, and uh, but you know you see all my I need to go go in demand. Yeah, a lot of enhancements and stuff. Over oh, Barry Orkin's incredible colors. Oh, one's the that's what it was. One's the cover because they're different. I want to show you guys this the the the, the, the cover. So this is the cover itself. This is the actual cover. Um, and it has this, it has, let me lower that. There you go. So on the spine, we have Anna from issue five. Again, so that's the, that's the cover, not the that's desk jacket. The, that's the cover of the book. And then this is for our spot glossing. So this will all be uh, yeah. embossed. Um, I mean, a spot gloss. And then this is for the gold foil. There'll be a gold foil trim around it. Nice. And then this one here, to show you the difference, is the this is the um the dust jacket so you can see that but the dust jacket art is different colored by wes hartman wonderful job wes the this is different as well the spine is a little different um and uh yeah i got some fun stuff here so it's all different it's all My part of the show, show. <laughs> right jeff all part of the show all part of the show so i'm so happy uh robert smith um, just wonderful for you for sending this. And it's not just Robert Smith. It's, we got a couple of things from API and I'm going to go through this with, with a fine tooth comb tonight and then tomorrow and just go over it. You know, I mean, go through every bloody page. Yeah. yeah. How many times can you do this book? You know, you got, it's gotta be great. Right. Yep. So here's a test. It's, uh, from Shelly over there. And, uh, so I'll have to sign these. I guess I'll just scan it in and then just email it to them. But just wonderful. What a trip down memory lane. We're going to have some other fun stuff. Uh, my original color guide. Here's my original co color guides for She Way the Warrior number two cover. My original cover for She Way the Warrior number three. And I like this cover, Jeff. Oh. I, I really oh, like this. Yeah. One, so I think I'm going to use this one again. Yeah, we definitely. Yep. And then just fun so introducing Tomo A. So, uh, and then. Yeah, it's just a, and I did my little thing. See, I would put all these little things for my friends. Yeah. So of course, there's you know, Bone by Jeff Smith, uh, and it says Smith copyright Smith. It says copyright Jeff Smith in, in Japanese, right there. But just fun stuff, and you know, the concept design of the Tomo. Oh, is that your that's your rough for the Tomo cover? No, that's a man. Another. Uh, this is my first sketch of Tomo trying to design Tomo. This mm -hmm. one she had a Nagi knot as well. Uh, no, this is Amanda Connors. Rough to the comb to Tom away number three cover, and she has her little notes. You know, Billy, here's an interesting cover idea. I came up with it while working on the piece, it definitely wouldn't look like anything else. Call me and talk to me about it, Amanda. And I think she wanted Tom away to be in black and white, which is really cool because the original I have her original art here. I definitely have original art, but it's, it's in one of these flat files. It's on the top. It's on the top. No, I don't see it. Oh, speaking of Barry Orkin, 
Old Bean. Yes. This is when we killed Barry Orkin. <laughs> In the comic, there's an arrow coming right for his head, for his forehead. <laughs> he gets, you can see, you see. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had a I had, like Barry, you gotta go like look very surprised. And he's like, okay. <laughs> I, had a, I had I had a friend, an artist I'd worked with for many years, call me and say, Am I your friend? I go, Yeah, what are you talking about? He goes, Well, how come you how come you've never killed me in one of your comics? Yeah, that's the thing. Everybody wants to die in comics. It, well, Solov's never died, right? Um, yes, he Solov lives, doesn't he? Oh no. No, he does not. <laughs> he's the, the, he's the, like Meter Meyer Marmalade and Warmer. Right. Dean Warmer? Yes. Right. Niedermeyer, <laughs> dead. Marmalade, <laughs> dead. <laughs> and then here we have, we have a thing, how she happens old school, how we did it back in the day. And it was step one with, with the breakdown for the double page spread. You turn that. Again, this is the first time I'm seeing this. So I'm, I'm, I'm also praying that it actually works. Um, and then uh, the, the step two, the pencil. So I had the, the, the original pencil. Oh, yeah, we went, we went over that text. Yep, yep, yeah. Oh, this is great. I this. The inks, and then of course the final colors. And the letters. Here's our credits. Here's a thank you to everyone um, who worked on the book and all. And uh, then it goes. Oh, now Scala made this ad for our cool website, BillyTucci.com. Kind of a little throwback hint to the '90s of sorts too. And uh, just it looks great. Deborah says, "Billy, please post pro photos of proof of the proof and an update." Yes, I I plan to do an update today, darling. Yes. So, yes, I will do it. But um, thank you all. Oh, our Facebook things are coming through. Damo, good to see you, Damo. Brian DePaul, good to see you. Dan Lawless, of course, as always, it's great to see you. You still have some Marvel board. I do, too. I have a few, few sheets. Mike Kellison. Uh, Mike Kellison and Damo, they're part of our fulfillment force. And, uh, well, now the thing with this book is, like everything else, though, we're going to have to update it. Unfortunately, it's going to take... A good six weeks to print this book. So, you well, one of the things one of the things that I think probably everybody understands by this point, Billy, is that it and it's not just comics, but I can speak for those of us in comics. the The printing paper situation yeah. and particularly hardcover bindery situation is out of control. The supply chain is nuts. Yeah. Um. I I've had I I mean. You can imagine, you know, as Overstreet, we come in with a with a bit of clout. I mean, we're a, you know, it's it's once a year, but we are a really big job that much. Right. That month, we're always, I mean, literally always the number one and number two soft cover, hard cover uh, product in Diamond that month uh, for books. And my printer just bumped us by two months for the for oh. the new book. Oh. Yeah. yeah, and and that's the best we can do. You know, and it's and it's not the paper situation. I actually bought the paper ahead of time, um, but it, it but the but the bindery, the bindery situation is nuts. The Canadian government is paying people more to stay home than our government is. Jeez, oh my goodness, it's crazy. And if you look at the poor people who are who had been printing in you know Hong Kong or China or even South Korea, uh, I think we're in the neighborhood of seventy-two plus. Uh, freighters sitting off the port of Los Angeles. I, I, see, got, yeah, I heard, I heard it was like, yeah, I, think I, I got, heard it was like over 80. They said if yeah. they, or the containers yeah. that uh, there's another place. Cause no one's that, that are, that's in a yard. And he said, it's something like six, 80,000 containers are sitting on a shipyard waiting to be, um, Waiting to be and uh, and, and uh, Rosina's brother, Rosina's brother was over at Long Beach, our Long Beach here on Long Island, um, and because the Port of Long Beach in California is the same situation as Port of Los Angeles, um, and he was able to see with the naked eye see seventeen tankers from Long Beach. Well, the 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 the, the person said uh, the the guy that was on the news today had said that it was um, if you put all those all those containers that are in one yard together it it's it it's like over 600 miles yeah it absolutely it absolutely it's, 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 it's crazy yeah I, I think that you know you know some of the stuff that we're looking at uh is you know it really affects those of us in comics but you got to realize it's it's affecting people in every single industry yeah. and you know the, if you want to look if you want to look for some 
silver lining in this nonsense. Uh, you know, people are going to have to look at, you know, in, in terms of national security implications and meaning something, something as simple as actual national security and something more complex as in our entire ecosphere uh, industry-wise, we've got to move chip manufacturing back to this country. You know, you're, you're waiting now months for a new car. Yeah. Like this is like suddenly we're Europe in the 1970s. My goodness. My goodness. It's, 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 it's incorrigible. That's what it is. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Really? This book looks so great. Doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm super biased because I've loved this since issue one, but I've wanted it in this format. You know, when you started talking about the omnibus, I said, you got to do it Marvel size. Mm. And, yeah. and well, that, and that, and then Mindy, poor, poor Mindy Lopkin, had to resize 500 pages and cover yeah. it and the and the end sheets and the and the, the 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 dust jacket she had to resize all of that and all these double page spreads too so she was not happy with me well it, it's it, i think in the end when she sees it she will be as happy as the rest of us i hope so i mean i'm just i just love this i just i'm so excited really really excited this is just this is just fantastic. This is just, I, I, I'm having these, like I said, these flashbacks here, you know? Oh, I mean, what's really great like, about it, what's really great about it, as this was coming out, um, you, your art was evolving. You were, you were finding out what you could do with computer coloring. Yeah. You were uh, getting to be friends with some of our colleagues in the industry uh, and really, really ramping up your game and it was you didn't know what you were going to get each issue right yeah and you know i'm and at the same time I'm, I'm becoming a professional but it's still being a fan of this never left me i feel the same way i i really i i feel exactly the same way about uh, about it too is is, is and, and we all got into this well back at, back then it seemed like we all got into this because we were all fans first yeah. Now you have a lot of people that aren't really fans of comics. It seems that are writing comics. Oh yeah, they're they're looking and, and they're they, looking for their ne they're looking for their next screenplay. And listen, yeah. you know my theory. I'd love somebody to turn some of my stuff in. I'd love somebody to turn your stuff in yeah. into movies or TV shows. I'm not against it, but I'm going to turn around and make more comics. Right. And just man, I'm just ah, thank you, Mindy. What a great job. This is a this is a spectacular book, yeah. and what's really great about Mindy's lettering uh, on these brand new pages. Yes, she had yeah because she had to okay. reletter a bunch of pages. Um, okay, but, but if you look at that, look at the stuff that on that one you've got there on the on the right, mm -hmm. um, how that's overlaid an existing page, right? Yes, yeah, and you can. Okay? Even see but it all looks like it belongs together. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, and that that's broken off. The little tail is broken, off. and these were balloons. Old Bean is what I would have. What I would do is, I printed them out on my Apple on not my Apple two on my Powerback Powerback sixty one hundred. I think it was. It was called the and TRS eighty. Yeah, yeah, I printed them out. Uh, you know, on on regular paper, on just like Xerox paper. You know, carbon not carbon paper, but just regular. You know, print paper. And then like this, if you see, these are all hand drawn. Every rice paper thing, I then would go in and and hand draw it. And then I had uh, Nelson Asensio, who was also my assistant. He, he would do backgrounds for me and all. And then he and I would take X-Acto knives and and put them on. There was a, a, a sort of thing, uh, which is a, it's like a glue paper or something. It had little dots on it, a little tacking paper or something. Mm -hmm. We'd lay the page over it, smooth it out, and then cut it out with cut each word balloon out with an X-Acto knife. Oh, it's like, it's sort of like the uh, it's sort of like the backing paper for zip tone. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. And then, and then we would then take them, and I, this is there's an acetate overlay, and I can grab one. I remember that. I remember doing like arts and crafts with that paper, man. That was so cool. Yeah, like here's one. My friend Barry Orkin, our friend, gets killed. Um, I love that. Uh, if you guys see, this is this is the paper. See, so it's on, and this is what it looks like from behind. See? And so they would, uh, they would that that get photoed that way. Yeah, then I scanned it, and then I, I think yeah, I, then I sent a scanner, a, a big flatbed by that point. Right here, 
Were you using a big flatbed scanner by that point, or did would that come later? Uh, I think I actually had to send this original art. I don't think I had a scanner. I think I had to send all this original art to Top Cow, and then they scanned it and did it. Wow. And thankfully, they sent it all back. <laughs> so... That's how yeah, things come back. That's what's so much fun about the, you know, there was so much trust. You know, the FedEx bill was astronomical because it, everything was always late. Everything always oh, happened. Dude, <laughs> dude, when 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 Jim Kohorik and Mark Haynes and I did uh, Realm Press, we went out of business because of our FedEx bill. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> we wouldn't even have a FedEx bill now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't I don't have a, a FedEx account anymore. The only time I use FedEx Ground is for San Diego. Really? Is as I ship it to San Diego. You know, yeah. I, I I you know, I don't want to go on a rant, so we won't talk about FedEx. Okay. Well, who's calling? 914. I don't know who that is. Um, anyway, guys, so here's the book. I just want to thank you for, for joining me, old bean. We've been going a half hour. Everyone out there, please smash the like button and subscribe to the Pop XP if you can. Uh, well, of course you can. It's easy. It's free. It's fast. It's fun. It's reliable. And, uh, just and really we will remember. rarely, if ever, call you at home. Yeah, it, right. <laughs> I got to say, listen, this was a great way to spend part of my lunch hour, Billy. Uh, I'm, I'm so excited about this book, as you know. Uh, I'm very, very pleased to be a part of it. I am so psyched that it's coming out in the format that I told you I wanted. I know. And... and I know that there's a lot of a lot of people that are on here today considering it's lunchtime. Um, it really is, honest to goodness, looks great just on camera. I can't wait to see the thing. Oh, it looks so, yeah, because it's so much lighter and brighter in uh, in person. So, guys, thank you all for joining us. I can't wait to go over this. Every bloody page I will. So I'm sure I won't be able to do it just tonight. And then I'll see if Dad takes a look at it as well. But uh, here it is. This one kind of in the center. Here's the book. Oh, let's open it. Right, old bean? Let's open it to a page. Oh, here you go. Oh, my original She versus Tomo art. So we have that for, you know, pinups. We have pinups. We have the, again, we have the uh, credits pages. We have um, chapter headlines. We have a lot of stuff in the back. Uh, a letter by me thanking everyone uh, for all, you know, for, for, for supporting us. Where is that letter? My letter. I guess that's it there. I guess that's it. Let me see. That's the breakdown. I did do a letter, didn't I, Old Bean? Yeah, you did. I don't know where yeah, I early fashion drawings when I was coming up with her. Yep, the history of she, you know, from her first appearance in the Razor Annual, number one, the, the, to the costume. There's a costume with the red eye. Yeah, here we go. Yep, the first, very first drawings of she. Ah, so much fun. Yeah, here's my message. Okay. A message from Billy Tucci. And I said, friends on my, on, on my, uh, the first issue in the back, I had a little letter, and it says, Welcome to the world of Crusade Comics and its premiere title, She. And I kept, I made an, and I, 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 and I made a typo in She number one, and it's, and I kept it in the letter. <laughs> I saw that because it was in quotes. Yeah. <laughs> so it was fun. You know, keep all this stuff. Why not? Um, and that's exactly what I said and how I said it or how I wrote it. So everyone have a great day. Sorry that uh, Dr. Blevins couldn't join us. I'm sure yeah. Government work. He's a he's a councilman uh, for his city. So, uh, you know, then, uh, you know, I guess their work is never done. So, guys, thank you all for joining me. Honey, the book looks fantastic. Um, can't wait for you guys to to. To, to check it out. So if you want to do it, please do. It's it's it, it's in the description. It's live on Indiegogo right now, in demand. Here's the book. I'm going to approve of this. Send them the approval by tomorrow, and they hopefully they just start running it. Again, it's going to take eight weeks. Um, Debbie corrected me. We get the books the second week in December. I'm very sorry about that, um, but it is what it is it, the way the world is. And then come January, we launch She for, for 2022. Uh, we we launched She Sakura, which is the follow up to She uh, Haikyo by Stephen Peros and myself and Garden Neo Lima and Brian Miller, uh, edited by J C Tex Vaughn. Uh, then for because and that book I want to be done by the time I want that book to be at the printer in the proofing stage before we even launch. 
Uh, then following that up will be Zombie Sama 2, Dorm of the Dead. Yeah, the dead. And it is and let, me, let me tell you that if you guys uh, have not discovered Zombie Sama, yeah. uh, you need to really be ready for this one. It is going to be phenomenal. Indeed. And then come, so if that's, say, April... That book is already almost done. Uh, Brian, John, John has drawn Zombie Sama 2 and Zombie Sama 3. I think we have 38 pages colored for Zombie Sama 2, and that's going to be 52 pages Zombie Sama 2. Um, so 30 of those pages are already colored of story and art. Uh, then Old Bean will be our gate crasher. She gate crasher for the summer. And then in the fall, we'll end with the, um, I think I'm going to do the 25th anniversary uh, she sent Ryaku writer and artist edition on the bus and have all the full art, you know, just, you know, uh, without any word balloons over it or anything like that. And you could see the, the, the amazing, amazing artwork by some of the greatest people that's ever worked in comics. So, uh, all right. Well, all being, thank you. Thank My you pleasure, Billy. Uh, for all you guys watching us, uh, Drew, uh, Mikra, Destructo, Praetor. Coach, as always, Hunt, Deborah, my my darling, uh, Chris Fisk, uh, the Bruges man. I, be, I believe that's Bruges man, our Bruges man, uh, and uh, Andrew Wilson. All you guys, Pop Culture Avenger, of course, guy from Red Bank. Good to see you, buddy. Um, everyone have a great, great day, and uh, happy Columbus Day. All right? So uh, thank you. Please join us on the Pop XP um, this week. And we got lots of fun stuff. I'll be putting uh, photos of this art and all in the up in today's update. So uh, everyone have a great day. And uh, you look good in the red suits. Have I told you that? <laughs> all right, Old Bean. Uh, let's uh, let's let's go home, shall we? Let's go home. Let's end it. <laughs> Bye. Hey, anything you want to pitch for yourself, real quick? Nope, not right now. Really? All right. Well, well, then. yeah. Okay. <laughs> listen, seriously. The Overstreet, I've been working for the last year, which is why I haven't been around, uh, on the Overstreet Comic Book Press Guide to Lost Universes. It is going to be a kick-ass book. I kid you not. It looks amazing. I saw your I saw your little book with all the pages, and it, it just looks incredible. Did you get in touch with Brian Polito? I haven't yet. That's for the next one. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Well, then, thank you all. And um, let me find our little end screen, which I just had. Here it is. Everyone have a great day. We'll see you on Facebook and on the, the YouTube. Peter Zambucci, good to see you. Um, Shawnee, hey, Shawnees. <laughs> Shawnee. And uh, we'll see you guys soon, all right? So thank you very much. And uh, wow, I'm just so happy right now. I'm in a really good place. It's great. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us on Pop XP. If you haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button and also click the bell for notifications when we go live and we upload some awesome new content. Also, don't forget to head on over to Twitter and follow us at the Pop XP and over on Instagram at the Pop XP. Thanks again, everyone, and we'll see you soon.